Hey y'all, <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, do a little video about the Snyder load board. Now, whenever you go onto the load board, when you choose your, get ready to choose your load, you set your radius. Right now we're going to do Atlanta, 100 mile radius. You'll have a choice of choosing confirmed, not confirmed, or both. I go to confirmed. Especially if I'm trying to pick up the same day. So if you hit both, you end up with 309 loads. However, 149 of them have not confirmed. And those loads, if you favorite them and you try to wait on them, be really careful. Because you can lose a day. I tend to stay away from the com not confirmed loads. Because there are places that never confirm. So you can mess around waiting on a load or scheduling some other loads around a load and it never come through and you end up messing yourself up. I tend to go with the safe bet. I go confirmed. And it gives me 160 loads. Now, I run my times like this. 215.18 to 3.1.18. Okay. Today's date is 2.2.2.1.8. If you put in today's date, it drops the loads down to 143. See, there may be a load that could have picked up on the 15th, but you can pick it up all the way to the 23rd or the 22nd. And if you just put in today's date, you will never see that load that you could have got that would have picked up between 215 and 222 or 23. It's always good to go back a week or so and let it, let it, set you up to where you can see all the loads in the area and I will show you some that are impossible dispatches and you just won't assign them you will see them and you'll be like man I wish I could have had that load and you can call and check on it and see if they can move the times around for you but they don't like to be bothered I'm telling you right now at the operating centers our folks don't like to be bothered with with that kind of stuff now if you have an active shipment issue that's the kind of stuff they want to be there for. Anyway, if you put in the day's date, it drops it to 143. There are 29 loads out of the confirmed that you can pick up today. They go anywhere from Virginia, South Carolina, Ohio, North Carolina, Alabama, Missouri, Kentucky. I think there's even a couple on there from Mississippi. Your radius, you can set your radius all the way to 500 miles. But your deadhead gets kind of costly. So start out with 50, 100, 150, and move up slowly so you don't get tempted by a load that's really not paying that well, but it's 300 miles away because your time adds up. Like I'm going to get a load tomorrow or the next day that's a 150 mile deadhead, but it goes almost a thousand miles. And it pays pretty good for this program and it's lightweight and my fuel usage I've got to get my my miles per gallon up a little bit and my tires are a little worn so I don't want to put too much weight on them until I get them replaced not like fixing a pop or anything I want to try to get as much life as I can out of them so uh, when you're choosing your loads be real careful about the not confirmed I tend to look at them sometimes, and I may favorite one or two every now and then, but for the most part, I don't even, I just block that out of my mind. Just say, go away. And I just look at the confirmed. Like I say, there's 29 you can pick up today, but of those 29 in Atlanta, do you want to go any of these places? That's the question. Join the program if you're new to owner-operator. You can make money. You can get out here and work six days a week and make a decent check. And if you route yourself, say like if you lived in Atlanta, you might could go out to Ohio or Missouri and back and make some decent checks. That's what I like to do. I like to find an area that has steady freight coming back to my area. Then I'll find loads going there and then come back to my area. And as a family man, I try to get home to my family as much as I can. Even if I'm like starting in Atlanta and going to Laredo, 
I can go right through by the house and stop for my 10 or stop for my 34, ever how long that load gives me. It's never long enough. That's one thing about it. It's never long enough. You never get enough time at home. This program is not easy, and if the wheels ain't turning, you ain't burning. You ain't earning. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Y'all come on out and try it if you want to. I've been doing it, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. Snyder makes it kind of idiot-proof. I keep trying to make up some videos about our program and put them on here. But I just figured that some of y'all would like to know how we find our loads. And it's real easy. I mean, once you find the load you want, you click on it, and you accept it. And in not too long, if everything checks out, your net now and all that, you'll get your... Uh, load onto your Qualcomm and once you get your load on the Qualcomm you just go in like I'm planned out now until Monday Monday afternoon late no Sunday afternoon late so I still got Monday to plan out and our payday goes in on Monday night which I do not like I wish it went in on like Friday night or something like that because I end up working all through the weekend all the time I work through the weekend I don't like it I ain't been to church in so long my preacher messaged me yesterday and he's like you coming this weekend i said it ain't looking good it ain't looking good he said oh i got you i could tell he was upset but what couldn't i do my mule is in a ditch people but one day this truck will be paid for or one day i'll be on a different load board or something where there's more opportunities out there for me that's the plan everybody needs to have a plan don't be satisfied with your lot in life always try to be doing better Keep swinging and keep fighting and never give up. Never surrender in the words of, uh, what was that show? Crap, I can't even think about it now. Not Lost in Space. Galaxy Quest. Never give up. Never surrender. That's right. God bless. We'll see you later.